so in this introduction chapter of stack up we are going to learn about basic information of stack up means what is stack up and why it is so much important in design field then we are going to study about basic requirement to learn the content of this stack up uh, chapter then we are going to introduce you about syllabus we are going to cover in this complete course now what is tolerance stack up analysis tolerance stack up analysis is a decision making tool used to determine total variation in an assembly or product as a result of variation caused in individual component of that assembly here we can say that individual component has lots of features which establishes relation between each other and forms a product variation of these features will create some variation at product level this product level variation we can analyze with the help of tolerance stack up now consider this simple scenario where we are keeping three blocks one above the other having their individual tolerances and they are assembled within the frame of fixed length of 35 mm here in the animation we can see the variation arising due to the individual tolerances of these blocks this blocks variation will give us minimum and maximum value of gap arising due to this variation to find out this gap we need help of tolerance stack up analysis by tolerance stack up analysis we can find out mean gap and the variation of tolerance and then by combining both minimum and maximum variation we can find out minimum and maximum value of gap available now consider another problem here again three blocks are kept one above the other and have their individual tolerance variation here these these three blocks are kept together hold together by means of l shaped bracket this bracket is clamped to the frame here we can say if we consider the variation of blocks we can say that if we drill holes in both l shape bracket and frame we cannot assemble the part we cannot do the assembly because the variation of these blocks will not allow l shape bracket to pass the bolt through the hole of frame hence we need to have slot either in l shape bracket or in frame so what amount of length we should have to this slot answer to this question can be given by means of tolerance stack by calculating variation of these blocks we can get the gap and the variation of that gap so by getting that value we can determine the length of slot we need to have to make the assembly possible so by means of this we can conclude the result or we can find the path we should we should get to solve the assembly constraint here and we can decide what decision we need to take either we should constrain the tolerances to more tighter one or we should increase the length of frame and length of bracket to accommodate this slot hence during tolerance stack up analysis we get the result in terms of gap which we can analyze to get our output result and accordingly we can make decision what we should do to make assembly possible so in this slide we are going to cover what are the prerequisite required for this course you should have basic knowledge about engineering drawing and how to read engineering drawing you should be able to understand design intent 
by looking at the engineering drawing. Also, you should be familiar with the concept of general tolerance. We will have brief introduction of general tolerance concept in upcoming slides. Also, you should have knowledge about various manufacturing processes available for various kinds of parts production. Each and every manufacturing process have their limitations and some degree of accuracy. You should be able to understand such manufacturing constraints. Also, this course demands basic knowledge of GD and T terms. In accordance with ASME Y 14.5-2009 revision, you should have basic idea about all these tolerance tolerance types such as position tolerance, concept of bonus tolerance, what are size features, what are datums, etc. If you don't know basics of this, we would recommend you to go through GDNT concepts simultaneously while studying this course. No doubt, we are going to cover some of the important GDNT terms required for understanding of this course. In upcoming slide, we will be studying position tolerance, MMC, LMC conditions. Also, we will cover what is the concept of bonus tolerance along with virtual and resultant condition. In order of complete understanding of this course, now we will have brief introduction of our syllabus which we are going to cover in this course. We are going to study what is tolerance stack up and its definition. Then we will study why exactly we need tolerance stack up and what are its benefits. Then we will study what are the methodologies of the tolerance stack up process. There are several kind of approach that tolerance stack up process considers in order to get desired results. These approaches are depends on it depends on various conditions that exactly what we need to change, which are the modifiable parts and which are completely new design parts. After studying approach of stack up, we will study some basic steps we need to consider to do tolerance analysis then we will study this step in detail along with some simple examples then we will study concept of vector loop diagram and its direction how vector loop is used to calculate value of gap then we will be able to understand the gap and its variation after analyzing how to get the value of gap we will study the worst case tolerancing method and the statistical tolerancing method for statistical case we are going to study only root sum square method also we will simultaneously solve related problems of worst case and root sum square method up to this point we will be able to find out gap and its variation for simple problems such as parts containing linear dimensions that means the coordinate dimensions after that we will study some important concepts of GDNT required to understand further content of this course we will study what is a feature size feature what is the position tolerance what is bonus tolerance and how it affects the stack up then we will study what are virtual condition and resultant conditions and how they affect the stack up then we will study out of which gdnt symbols how how any symbol affects the stack up and which are the symbols which doesn't affect the stack up. Then 
we will study the theory of envelopes and how virtual and resultant conditions contribute to the stack up in detail here we will study how the combined effect of position bonus tolerance affect the given stack up problem simultaneously we will look at the charts which are required to maintain the data of this envelopes we will study how to formulate table and use this table to understand and evaluate our solution after that we will study examples where we will ensure the assembly by using mmc condition then we will study tolerance stack up for part involving position tolerances after that we will study how can we find out the stack up of part which are having pattern features in them such a parts will be involving composite tolerance frames then we will understand the concept of fixed and floating fasteners and its effect on assembly shift after that we will study what are the form tolerances contributing to the stack up and how to calculate stack up including